Greetings, friends and fellow cigar boss guitar enthusiasts. Dale Puckett here, and yes, I am inside the new workshop. Check! Echo! Wah! It's got, got a little bit of acoustic reverb in here. Not too bad. Um, I did want to share with you a few things. First of all is the idea of just doing upstrokes, only upstrokes. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if you just force yourself kind of out of your comfort zone, your comfort zone being up and down, up and down, and say only, we're only going to do upstrokes, it forces you to think and to play differently. For example, I'll play a little bit of a blues thing, and I'm telling myself I can only use upstroke. And you're going to be amazed at how different it sounds. And the only reason it sounds different is because I'm playing it different. But I think it sounds cool. So here we go. Uh... hard to tell your brain don't do downstrokes because you want to go down on the downbeat it's just a natural like phenomenon so anyhow um seriously guys have fun with that because um it's just another tool another trick whoops another trick that you can use to, to make make your wrist sound so yeah uh, trust me your your mind's gonna not your mind is going to protest but you need to rule over your mind and say mind Tell the hand what to do and the hand needs to obey. For some reason it's easier to do the downstroke and it's harder to do the upstroke. So, play with your upstroke, kids. The next fun thing I wanna talk about is playing with key changes. For example, now I beat this dead horse to death using this chord here, but this is gonna be my root chord. And then if I flat right here at the, using my uh, middle finger here, that's the four chord. Back to the root chord. And then the five chord is going to be the pinky barred. So if I so I have the one the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, back to the one chord. Okay, so that is a little chunk that you need to understand right there. Why? Because I'm going to be taking that little group that we just talked about, the one, four, five progression, and I'm going to move it down one fret, move it down one fret, move it down one fret. And then finally down here to the key of C. So here's the one, here's the one. My finger's off the fret here. So here's the one chord, it's C. Here's the four chord. Back to one. Back to the five chord. One, four, one, one, five, one. Now you just move this up a half step. So it's the one chord. Four, one, 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 five. One, 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 four, one. One, one, five, five, one. Key change. Mm -hmm. That's one. Five, five. 
Now I'm back up here. So I went through like one, two, three, four, five. This is the five or six key changes, right? So I'm, I went, I'll hear it E again. Some of you might recognize that melody. Swing low, sweet chariot. And I got the idea for the key change by watching the El, I'm sorry, not the Elvis, the uh, Johnny Cash version. So Google the Johnny, I'll put the link in the video description bo below. The uh, the Johnny Cash version of Swing Low has like all the different key changes. And so that's what inspired me to you to exploit key changes. So so this is this is just gonna be example of me goofing off and playing with all the different key changes. Swing low, sweet cherry, coming for to carry me. So I told you I was going to be goofing off. And goofing off I was. All right, guys. If you like these videos, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, etc. And um, I have a good news. I have a, a surprise for the Patreons. So stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. See you in the next video.